Now, this is in connection with the Kupwara encounter. Five foreign terrorists have been killed in the encounter. We also know that searches in the area are still underway. This is what the ADGP of Kashmir has said. Now, remember, two terrorists were killed in Kupwara on the 13th, which means that seven foreigners, foreign terrorists, have been killed in just the last four days. And recently, now this Kupwara encounter, this took place overnight, and that's where five foreign terrorists were killed in the encounter. Now we're crossing over to uh, CNN News 18's Ishan Wani to get us more details. Uh, Ishan, can you tell us more about the details that we have about these foreign terrorists? Do we know what militant outfit they're connected to? Uh, well, in most likelihood, uh, they will be connected to Lashkar e Taiba, but uh, there is no word from the officials yet. Uh, mm -hmm. There have been uh, information uh, with the security agencies that there will be attempts to infiltrate from the other side. And that is why there has been a high uh, vigil that has been maintained across the line of control in Kashmir, particularly. Uh, now, uh, yesterday in the evening, there was an input of the security forces about presence of militants. Uh, it was a group which seemed to have crossed and infiltrated to the Indian side. And when they reached this uh, Jamgun forest area, which is in Kopara district, it's a very uh, remote area. That's when uh, they were intercepted. Security forces launched a cordon operation. And uh, that's when they, in the during the midnight, around uh, one o'clock, uh, the established contact was established. Uh, now, uh, most of the networks don't work there. So it's very hard to communicate to the area where this encounter took place. Uh, but yes, ADGP Kashmir, Vijay Kumar confirming that five of them are foreigners, which essentially means that they are from Pakistani origin and they had crossed the line of control. This is the app time when most of the infiltration takes place. Why? One, because snow has met the sun has started shining in Kashmir Valley and the cold has become a little less. Uh, so it becomes easy when the passes open up, uh, particularly uh, those areas from where which have been traditional routes for the infiltrators to come across. And uh, that seems to be uh, the, the thing that has happened that when uh, whenever these months come, June, July, August, uh, that is when most of the infiltration takes place. And uh, today morning, uh, uh, this confirmation has come from the police that they have been able to kill five of these foreign militants. Uh, remember the few days back in Matsil sector, uh, again, uh, two of them were killed, which takes the number to five in just four days. It was on 13th when that encounter took place. And just four days after that, uh, uh, you know, this another encounter taking place in which uh, four of them, uh, five of them have been killed. Uh, interestingly, we have. All right, Ishan, any... do stay with us because we have to. We have Mr. S. P. Ved, who is the former DGP of Jammu and Kashmir, on the broadcast with us. Mr. Ved, thank you so much for speaking to CNN News 18. Could we have your perspective on this encounter that's taken place and how much of a success it is? Because again, what we're learning is that five foreign terrorists have been killed in Kupwara. See, uh, Pakistan's attempts to disrupt G20 has completely failed. That everyone saw and. Uh, now you, you you saw how it tried to uh, do incidents in the Jauri Punch. Mm -hmm. Now uh, it, it it the only thing Pakistan produces is jihadis, not the IT specialists or doctors or engineers. And uh, uh, that uh, jihadi factory continues in Pakistan. And uh, this is uh, uh, the uh, deep state's uh, attempt to push uh, now because summer has uh, set in so uh, most of these snow peaks melt and uh, in the high deeps of Kubbada and Baramula district and this is uh, what the Bandipur area the Gurez and um, once these uh, passes open up and they they try to infiltrate as much as possible so that uh, the dwindling terrorist terrorism in Kashmir is again picked up and revived, which Pakistan is uh, deep state is established. It has to establish its credibility. People are questioning its policy of for last 75 years in Pakistan itself. Their own people are questioning. Uh, you, you saw the statements of the former Prime Minister, Mr. Imran Khan, uh, and uh, uh, how the violence by his supporters took place, including the army headquarters and the burning of core commander's house. Now that shows the anger of people in Pakistan. So Absolutely. Instead of, uh, instead of mending its ways and uh, looking after the economy, reviving uh, their own uh, country's uh, economic, social and uh, political setup in the, in the country, they will... Uh, only, only one mantra they have is uh, rake up Kashmir so that people... Um, uh, stand behind the Pakistan army and you saw how their general uh, after looting go uh, to European countries you saw the video which went viral about General Vajba and how an Afghanistan young boy was 
uh, abusing him and cursing him that you have brought hell to our country mm-hmm. so this is what pakistan uh, is all about and i i have no doubt about their uh, nefarious design i think uh, uh, well done by the indian army and jnk police Uh, and uh, other paramilitary forces crpf whoever is involved in this encounter and uh, eliminating these five uh, boys but i feel bad for the for these young boys after all they are pakistanis but they also have back home their parents how they are being radicalized and turned into jihadis and sent here uh, very sad that uh, ashrafia class of pakistan mm-hmm. their own children study in the ib league colleges in europe and america and uh, the the, the uh, pasmanda people of pakistan are uh, their boy, young boy children are uh, radicalized and trained and used as jihadis in india Absolutely Mr. Vaid we'd also like to ask you more about the areas which are usually on alert in Jammu and Kashmir considering that you're the former DGP now is it usual for encounters to be taken place in in a remote place like Kupwara why do you think Kupwara was specifically chosen for the terrorists to infiltrate into See uh, uh during summers we do have uh, encounters like this uh, hmm. in in this belt because uh after the snow melts in march april uh, the uh, the att- increasing attempts take place in all these uh, high reaches whether it is uh, tandhar uh, keran karna uh, gorez all these sectors even even uh, lower reaches uh, uh, like uri uh, even in these areas the attempts are made and um, uh, it is not unusual we have been seeing this pattern for many many years and uh, uh, though we have most of the area fenced but what happens during the winter when uh, heavy snowfall takes place some of the fence gets uh, uh, washed away or uh, cut because of uh, avalanches okay. so that uh, gives 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 advantage to these people to sneak in sometimes they do uh, attempt other means to enter whether it is Uh, using uh, uh, plastic stairs using tunnels using all these uh, dubious ways of uh, even air dropping through drones and all so all these uh, attempts by if you have a neighbor like pakistan you have to be prepared for a brief eventuality absolutely mr vaid thank you so much for speaking to cnn news 18 and for telling us more about this incident and we'd also like to thank our correspondent ishan wani for also getting us more details on this